to solve a proportion, we just use inverse operations. A proportion is just an equation. So if I look at this problem, I got x divided by 10. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I want to multiply both sides by 10. Notice on the left side, my 10s reduce. That's what I wanted to happen. On the right side, 5 goes into 10 twice. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I've got 3 times 2 over 1, or 6 over 1, which we're just going to write as 6. So there is, you just do the problem this, like we've done everything else. Let's take a look at example 5. This one looks a bit more complicated, but we start off here. I want to get rid of the fraction bar first, so I multiply both sides by 14 because you want to get x by itself. So I multiply by 14. Notice on the left-hand side, my 14s reduce. So I'm left with x minus 2. On the right-hand side, 7 goes into 14 two times. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So I get 2 times 2 is 4 over 1, which normally we just say x minus 2 equals 4. Then we multiply both, not multiply, we add 2 to both sides. We're just solving the equation. x equals 6 in this problem. And that's what we do in a problem like that. Let's take a look at an application problem, question 6, or example 6. It says the gear on a bicycle is 8 to 5. That means for every 8 turns of the pedal, the wheel turns 5 times. Suppose a bicycle wheel turns about 2,435 times during a trip. How many times would you have to crank the pedal during your trip? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to write my ratio. 8 is to 5. Now I know 8 is the number of times I pedal, and 5 is the number of times the wheel turns. So when I write my other proportion, or the second part of my, my ratio, I want the 2,435 times to be the wheel, so I'm going to put that in the denominator, 2,435. Now, I don't know what my numerator is. I don't know how many times I have to crank it. I'm going to call that x. Now we do it just like we did the other two problems. The only thing is x is on the right side, but we don't do it too much different. Multiply both sides by 2,435. Actually, 2,435 over 1, if you want to think of it that way. Notice on the right-hand side, the 2,435s, they reduce out, and you get x. On the right-hand side, I'm going to use my calculator, because I know 5 goes into 2,435. So I take 2,435, I divide that by 5, and I get 487. And this would be 1, then, one tenth. So I take, it kind of looks like my 8. My 5 turns to 8, that was actually supposed to be crossed off. Let me try that again. Ooh, didn't like that. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. So now I take 487 times 5. 487 times 5 is 2,435. Now make sure you answer the question that's being asked. So how many times would you have to crank the pedal? Well, I would say you would have to turn the pedal. Pedal, how about if I spell it right? 2,435 times. I really like it when it's a word problem to answer in a complete sentence, although it's not a requirement. Related to ratios, we also have scales and scale drawings. Okay? When I look at the ratio of the length of a drawing in a model to the length in real life, that's your scale. So if you don't have units, it's the same units. So if they say 1 to 10, that means 1 inch stands for 10 inches, 1 foot stands for 10 feet. One centimeter stands for 10 centimeters. If you, don't have, if you have different units, then they have to correspond. 
So if you have like one inch stands for two feet, make sure you include the units on that.